How to Trade on CMC Markets Platform Hi everyone! Welcome to this tutorial on trading with CMC Markets. Today, I'll walk you through the basics of the CMC Markets Platform, helping you understand what each section on the dashboard means and how to place trades. By the end, you'll have a strong grasp of how to analyze, set up, and manage your trades. Let's get started. Number one, understanding the dashboard layout. When you first log in to the CMC Markets platform, you'll see a dashboard similar to the one in this image. The screen is divided into sections. Product list on the left where you can view available trending pa trading pairs. Price chart in the center displaying the real-time price of your selected asset order details, and position tracking at the bottom where you'll monitor your active trades and orders. These sections each serve a purpose and we'll go through them into more detail about how to use each one to your advantage. Number two, product list. In the product list, you'll see a variety of currency pairs, each labeled with details like product, the currency pair like AUD slash CHF or AUD slash JPY. Change. The percentage change showing how much the price has moved recently. Sell and buy prices. These are the prices you can sell or buy at, respectively. To pick a pair like AUD slash CHF, just click on it. This will bring up more details in the central chart where you can start analyzing the price movement. Tips Pay attention to the percentage change and price trends in this list. This can help you spot active, moving pairs that may present trading opportunities. Notice how some pairs have higher price movements, like red or green percentages, indicating volatility. Price chart the price chart in the center is where you analyze the performance of the selected currency pair over time. You can adjust the time frame of the chart, for example, 1 day and 10 months, using options above the chart to focus on short-term or long-term trends. This is especially useful for identifying patterns and deciding on entry or exit points. Common indicators, moving averages. These can help you understand the overall trend. Support and resistance levels. Check for points where the price repeatedly hits high or low. These levels can indicate potential reversal points. Exam Example, let's say the price of AUD slash CHF has been consistently rising over the last few days. You might want to buy if you believe it will continue to rise or set up a short trade if you think it's due for correction. Number four, setting up a trade. To set up a trade, you will use the sell and buy buttons on the right side below the chart. Sell. If you think the price will go down, you would use this option. Buy. If you think the price will go up, use this. Let's say you want to place a buy order for AUD slash CHF. Click the buy button. This opens up a trade setup panel at the bottom where you can set parameters like order size, stop loss, and take profit. Order size. This is the number of units you want to trade. A larger size means more potential gain but also a higher risk. Stop. Stop loss. This is a limit on how much you're willing to lose on a trade. <clears throat> For example, if you set a stop loss 50 pips below your entry, the platform will close your trade if the price drops by that amount. Take profit. This lets you lock in profits automatically. If the price reaches your target, your trade closes and secures your profit. Fifth. Placing the trade and monitoring. Once you've set your order size, stop loss, and take profit, review everything to make sure it's correct. 
click confirm to place the trade. After placing it, the trade will appear under positions at the bottom of your dashboard, where you can track it in real time. Here's what each column in positions means. Entry, entry price, the price at which you entered the trade. Current price, the market's current price. Profit or loss, shows your current gain or loss on this trade. Number six, managing and closing trades. As your trade progresses, keep an eye on the profit or loss column in the positions section. This value fluctuates with the market. When you're satisfied with the profit or want to cut your losses, click on close position. This will close the trade immediately, locking in whatever profit or loss you currently have. Tip. Use stop losses and take profits to automate this process, but manual closing is useful if you notice a sudden market movement and want to act quickly. Number 7. Additional Features and Tips If you are new to trading, start with a demo account. This will help you practice without any financial risk. Alerts CMC Markets offers price alerts that notify you when a certain price is reached, helping you track multiple markets without constantly watching the screen. News and Analysis Check this section for news updates, economic indicators, and analysis. Staying informed can help you make better trading decisions. That's a complete beginner's guide to, gui to trading on the CMC Markets platform. We covered everything from understanding the dashboard layout to setting up, managing, and closing trades. I hope this tutorial has given you the confidence to navigate CMC markets and start trading with a clearer strategy. Remember to trade responsibly and start small as you get comfortable. Thanks for watching and happy trading!